dispose of them. I don't know if Apothecary Adon can get you that many. <laughs> Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Beric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people from us? You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. 
Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Not open today. Not until this fast is over, at least. Too many swords. Valroyo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, no servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. And do you know everything the Maker commands? Look up in the sky. I alone survived the breach, and I can end it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Was that display supposed to impress me? On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You, who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Oh, the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. 
But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Ever since our divine was murdered, toothless old fools are lost without what her. They're saying, Rhea? What are the Grand Clerics the doing while well, the main circles the hole lie in the empty? Sky. That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. Chantry is useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you, and not me. Well, he is... The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm right, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. What's that? An arrow with a message? I believe that mess. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rites? The chant of light is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. Our divine is dead. Our Templars, gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? The Inquisition can give you the answers you need. So, I have a faith I've lost. Or one that seeks to drive it from me. I can't even look to our Templars. How is this not darkness? 
the one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world, she shall know true peace. The Templars didn't even touch you. I am open to you and yours. I price it a premium for everyone, so don't assume it's because you're with me. If I might have a moment of your time, Grand Enchanter Fiona, leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering. And I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. The mages weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. And I've seen the Chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Well, this has all been a frustrating mess. Templars and Chantry and...
the very least we can... This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are the Maker's Chosen? I do believe it. Do you have a better explanation? Several, but are they the truth? I am left to question all I have been taught. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our divine. Her holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us and your Inquisition is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do, exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. 
I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Something here. Let's look around. Oh, yes. Maybe. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Collins. Uh, this has been received as you might expect. Please move along. Salutations. Is there something you need? Yes, thank you. It's true. Yes, I'm. Sorry. Oh, yes. Minding the duties of the ailing mother, Harald. Inquisition, eh? But I have to live here, and Val Royo can be additional. Well met.
and for a time just what we needed. They wish to protect the people from us? You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Good day to you. Ah, the Herald of Andraste. Is there something I might help you with? No, thank you, sister. Make her go with you. Good day to you.
Is this a shop? Uh, I maintain a premises wherein customers of a certain affluence entertain the purchase of my ware. So yes, a shop. Fine, just get to what you sell. I do not sell anything. I have one item available for purchase. It is far too expensive for it merely to be sold. You may gaze upon it and dream of the wealth required to possess it, as have lords and kings. And then you may leave and purchase things from shops more aligned with your station. How do you keep the doors open on a shop with one item? My shop is a destination. Luminaries of every description journey here to see what is denied to them. Some pay tribute in the vain hope I will barter. They do not have the will to pay the price. They require a bargain to justify the spend, to ease their conscience. That would defeat the entirety of the purpose. So you sell one very expensive item. And it's worth it? Let me now interrupt the inevitable defense of your thrift. I'm sure you have treasures, and you will have many more. You could parade them from here to Halam Shiral, but none of that would allow you to say you have purchased this. The item is irrelevant. The price is worth it. I don't see why this is special. Anyone can overprice something. To overprice an item? The item must have a known value already. It is then priced over what it is worth. This... This has only the value I have set. It has never had another. It is not overpriced. It is priced. I can't see it. Tell me what it is. If you have to ask, you are not the one to buy it. I need to know if I can use it. And again, the point is missed. If mere use is your concern, you should go elsewhere. The person who claims this will not be known for using it. They will be known because they paid for it. Well, goodbye then. Yes. Still got demons pulling out of the room. be able to get blades for the recruits.
It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Grey Wardens. I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the First Blight thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Tevinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bulls Chargers offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Ein Bull. He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action.
Thank you for all that you are doing.